Cool boy, it's been two months since I did another dev vlog. Sorry about that. Looks like I was right about not uploading often. I also haven't been posting updates on Twitter. But hey, at least I got this puppet I made in a few hours. I usually work on game related stuff on Wednesdays and Thursdays with school stuff and relaxing time taking up the rest of the week. However, I'm planning on rearranging my schedule to include more dev time. For those who forgot or haven't seen the episode 0 of this series, I am a high school student making a 2D puzzle platformer with RPG mechanics using Godot. Now that you've been reminded, let's see what I've done in these past two months. That's right, Slime Small and Minion have joined the fight in- Small is one of the common enemies you can find within the first world. It has low health, does low damage, and only knocks back the player. They can also jump two and a half tiles. Once Small sees the player, it will chase them and attack when in range. It attacks by launching itself at its target, using its whole body as a projectile. While they can't start a battle with the player, they can be summoned in to help out the enemy in the battle. Medium is an enemy ranked somewhere in between common and rare for spawning. They won't appear as often as smalls, but they won't be as rare as larges. It has a medium amount of health, does medium damage, jumps 3 tiles high, and can start battles with the player. They can form slightly acidic projectiles out of their slime to attack the player. In battle, they will be able to jump really high into the air and land on the player, dealing a hefty amount of damage. They won't do it too often as it takes a lot of energy to jump that high. While we're on the topic of battles, let's see what they are exactly. In battle, each side will take turns attacking. On the top of the screen, you can choose how to battle your opponent. You first select which party member you want to use, then you choose which action to perform. Finally, you choose which enemy you want to attack. If you time your inputs correctly, you can deal more damage. While it isn't coded yet, you will be able to reduce the amount of damage you take if you time your inputs correctly. It's basically the way the Mario and Luigi series does it. And that's what I've done in about two months. Hopefully the next devlog is shorter as this one showcases three and a half things that are going to be in the game. Files are coming up and the holidays are basically here, so the next devlog will probably be in late January slash mid February. I'm also uploading these devlogs on Flare, so check the description for any links to my channel on there. I hope you enjoyed this devlog and leave a comment if you're curious about how I'm developing this.